and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today you'll be looking at simulating a brute force hack. Now a brute force hack is a trial and error way that hackers try and get access to your password. And then quite simply in most cases they'll run a dictionary file against your password in the hope that your password that you've chosen is contained within the dictionary. Now this is could be many hundreds of thousands of words possibly and quite realistically probably in the millions of words that they'll run past your password um, this is this is why that when you are creating a password it's so important to have numbers and special characters in your password to stop this kind of attack that is exactly how brute force attacks can be prevented it's by using you know having let's say your password followed by a million or a random number and then a percentage sign or a comma or a full stop or a backslash things like that so for this simulation i have to stress that it's for educational purposes only please do not go and uh, you know actually go to a website and try and do this and, and this is just a simulation so quite a lot of this actually is not really uh, transferable uh, in real life however the knowledge is true and it is accurate and this is quite this is exactly what the hackers will be doing but trying to put it into a python simulation so let's get to the hack there are three main assumptions the first one is a known username so we know this victim's username the second one is that the password doesn't contain any numbers or special characters so the password does not contain like one zeros or anything like that and doesn't contain percentage sign ampersands or anything like that and also the third one is the password is a real word and not a nickname so we know that this word is contained in the a to z dictionary it's a word in the dictionary so the first thing you've got to do is as the hacker we have to get our dictionary file so I have uh, imported the British A to Z file as a TXT and in the, as a read-only file and then I've used that I've done a for loop to replace the backslash ends that you'd get when you import uh, the TXT file with nothing and then I've um, used the, the append function to then import uh, import all those modified words getting rid of the backslash n into my blank list of UK dict which is short for UK dictionary I've also got an empty list here called hacked password which is where, where we will have our hacked password try to keep it as simple as possible now just to give you an idea this is this dictionary in question we can find out how long it is by using the len function and we are going to be running approximately uh, 79,765 words against this password. So we are literally brute force attacking this one password with 79,765 words. The next step in this simulation is to um, set up our victim. So we know his username. We know it's TomTom123. We've looked over his shoulder. We've seen it. We just don't know what his password is, except that we do know it's a, lang it's a word in the A to Z dictionary with no special characters and it's not a nickname. So for the sake of this, I've put his password as Zebra. Password is Zebra. So it's right at the end of the dictionary. Um, so our aim is to get the word Zebra as the hacker. <clears throat> and then next bit comes the brute force attack itself so we've registered the, the, the dictionary we've got our victim now let's perform the hack so what we're going to do is do a for loop so for every word for J in UK dict so for every word in the dictionary we're going to run it against the password and if that word does equal the password we're going to put it into this list empty list here 
And if not, then it just passes over and continues next to the next word in the loop. And then we're going to print out all the details in three rows so we have everything together. So this happens to be the login information of a random bank. So what we're going to do is we're going to print out the website, we're going to print out the username, and we're going to print out the password as the hacker. And then that is like stored information we can access at any time unless the person realizes and changes the password, which is entirely possible. So uh, let's get rid of that printing the length of the dictionary. Right. So let's run this. And there we go. You see, very quickly, blink of an eye, we've run short, short of 80,000 words like, like that. I get his password and we found it. It's Zebra. We've got it here. And we've also printed out his username and the name of the website. So all we have to do now as the hacker is to log into that website, username, password, and we're in. So another way around this is a two-step authentication method. So as the hacker, we would have got past the first step. However, the next challenge is the second step. Um, so that's another way in which you can stop this kind of brute force hack from occurring. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and check out my other simulations and other tutorials on my YouTube channel and subscribe if you like it. Thanks very much for watching and I really enjoyed this simulation. I hope you have too. Thanks very much.